I have the ache of a lost place in my book. It's, it's one thing as a poet to have somebody, you know, to stand up there and like give somebody, like, here's all of me, enjoy it. In the backyard, I'm coming home for you. The Individual World Poetry Slam brought 72 of the world's most renowned slam poets to Fayetteville. Spokesman for the event, Houston Hughes, gave some background on slam poetry. It was invented as a way to keep poetry from being stupid and boring. People get up on stage and have a certain amount of time to do a poem that they wrote. And when they are done with their poem, they're judged by five randomly selected members of the audience. This one's for the locals. Y'all know who you are, and for our visitors, welcome to Vietnam. Local poet Sparkman says visiting poets did not expect such a major event to be held in Fayetteville. We're easily the smallest town I've ever seen it held in. But I really think that uh, Fayetteville was right for something like this. We have a community here that's strong and, and venues that were willing to, uh, to, to work with us. Sparkman says there has been a recent growth in the Ozark Poetry Slam community, in part from events such as iWhips. Local poets Leah Gould and Sparkman say the strong connection between poet and audience member has encouraged the community to get more involved. Poet and listener are in it together to like carry these things that are heavy or funny, beautiful, bizarre. I mean, at the end of the day, a slam poetry show, I mean, you mentally, emotionally, if it's good, have been drugged through the dirt and have been sent to the heavens. Reporting for UATV, I'm Morton Green.